Another polarizing and intriguing player is up next on our 2019 NFL Draft Profile Series. I'm talking about Ole Miss wide receiver DK Metcalf, who shocked the nation with his workout photos. We're looking at him next, so stay tuned. The NFL Draft Profile Series, NFL Prospects. Break it down, let's get it. People's pin and the gridiron scholar. Time to do it major. Let's see who run in the field. Let's analyze the data. Yeah, let's go. DK Metcalf of Ole Miss is maybe the closest thing to Usain Bolt that we'll see in the NFL. And I say that because Usain Bolt is 6'5", 6'6", 220 pounds, and runs a 4'240". In shoes. DK Metcalf is the closest thing that comes to that. So he's basically central casting for wide receivers. If you were to dream up a wide receiver, you'd probably produce DK Metcalf. But does that mean he should automatically by default be the top receiver in this class? There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of concerns. And there's a lot of people falling in love with the former Rebel. So, John, this is a tough guy for you to figure out and analyze as well. What are your thoughts? What did you come away with? He's definitely a prospect paradox. He has rare physical skill set and size, but he only played in 21 games and logged 67 catches. So he's been one of my more difficult players to analyze in the last six years. Now, let's look at this young man. He's a consensus four-star recruit in high school, U.S. Army and Max Preps All-American. In 2017, he was All-SEC freshman after snatching 39 passes for 646 yards and seven touchdowns. But last season, he suffered a season-ending neck injury and played in just seven games, recording 26 catches for 569 yards and five touchdowns. So this is an excellent example of where we have to look at film, but we also have to look at production and how do you measure the two of them in your analysis. Obviously, you love when you have production that matches film. We don't have that with DK Metcalf. He only caught 67 passes during his career at Ole Miss. But he averaged a whopping 18.5 yards perception. So that's great. But his team catch percentage was only 10% in 2018. So there are concerns here, in my opinion, about DK Metcalf. Now, what do we love about him? Six foot four, 230 pounds, large frame and large arms to outmaneuver opponents. And you mentioned those pictures that have been floating around the internet. He is a physical workout specimen. He has a rare blend of quickness and physicality. When you watch the film, you can see the amazing combination of upper body strength, sweet feet, and elite size. He has eye-popping hand and footwork. He uses hands well to gain separation at line of scrimmage throughout the route and at the catch point. So he has everything you want physically in a wide receiver. Now, what else concerns me? He's not a polished route runner. He does not have a diverse route tree on his resume. After breaking a foot in 2016, he had a medical redshirt freshman season. His combine results and the medical reports are going to dictate the final grade on DK Metcalf. He's a raw prospect, only 21 years old, and projects as a prototypical X receiver in the NFL. I have a second round grade, Andy, and if I was a GM of a team, I would not spend a first round draft pick on a wide receiver unless I get film and production to both show elite, uber productivity and skills. I don't have that with DK Metcalf. To me, he's not a first-round pick. What do you think, Andy? Well, when you look at the great size-speed combo and everything like that, the the guy I think it could be his upside is Julio Jones. But from where he is now to where he needs to get to that point is a, a very long road. He's He's not close to that yet. You mentioned the lack of production in college. People point to Ole Miss, the receiving core they had with DeMarcus Lodge and A.J. Brown and Jordan Tiamu playing quarterback. They had a plethora of options and weapons. And then people look at and say, well, Metcalf was injured and he missed all these games. And what about when they played together? Well, looking at expandtheboxscore.com, you can go back and you can look at the touches they had on a per-game basis. In all the games that these three wide receivers played together, it was a total of six. Metcalf never led the team in targets even once. Brown and Lodge both had 53 in those six games, which equates to 8.3 targets per game, whereas Metcalf had only 32, which equated to 5.3 per game. So in that trio of wide receivers, he was never the alpha. Does he need a heavy volume to win? No, but he also hasn't proven that he can handle heavy workload either. So to just automatically assume that because he's 6'4", 225, 230, runs a 4'4", and looks great without a shirt, 
we can't just automatically proclaim him to be an all pro level and caliber player. Now he does have good high pointing and tracking techniques, but I want to see a little bit more consistency throughout his game with that. Same for his awareness on field and on the sidelines. I think sometimes he gets lost in tracking the ball with where his feet are and where he is. So especially with needing two feet down in the NFL, I think that could potentially be something that he needs to focus more on. It could potentially be a problem for him. I've seen a lot of people making the argument against another guy in this class, a wide receiver and Harry, and that he doesn't separate well. I don't see the same great separation from Metcalf either. He definitely has the strength. I see some techniques that show he can win at the line, especially against the press coverage. He, he certainly has the length to create separation and the strong hands and everything like that. But as far as actual separation, he, he's not necessarily creating that. He doesn't look too interested in blocking, which is you know something that maybe could, could raise a concern. Another thing I noticed that I I, I see a lot from his film is that because of his size, I'm assuming, he tries to bully people and he pushes off a lot. Didn't get flagged for it that often in college, but he is very physical with his hands at the catch point. And we're talking 10, 15, 20 yards downfield. He could be at risk of getting a lot of offensive PIs against them based on just how he, he clubbing people and putting hands on, especially if he's going to be a foot taller than some of the defensive backs he's going against. It's just going to look awkward. So that's something I would definitely monitor as well going forward. I see Hakeem Butler getting the Doriel Green Beckham comps, but to me, DK Metcalf is much closer of a comparison to, to Green Beckham than Hakeem Butler is. And not for anything off the field, not for any uh, of the psychological things or anything to that level, but for the game itself and for what he brings to the table, the size, the speed, the lack of uh, profile for games played, all that kind of stuff. John, you have the second round grade on him. I have to put a first round grade on him just because of the tools, just because of what he brings to the position and the enormous upside. However, it does come with extreme risk. If he gets cleared from the neck injury, I definitely think an NFL team is going to take a first-round pick on him. But we've seen first-round wide receiver picks bust in the past, and I wouldn't be surprised if Metcalf busted. So somebody I will be avoiding in fantasy drafts just because I think the premium is going to get placed on him, and I think you're not giving yourself enough room based on where you're going to have to take him. Definitely the potential is there, but I just think it comes with too much risk for me to feel comfortable with. I have four wide receivers with first-round grades in this class, and Metcalf will be the one that I'd be avoiding of the four of those guys. So let us know what you think, though. Leave it in the comments. Hope you enjoy the videos we're putting out. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. We ask you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, like I mentioned. Check out all the other players we're covering. Subscribe, Dynasty League Football, see all their other content. And go check out Expand the Box Score, as I mentioned before. You can get advanced college data for every touch, for every player throughout the season. Thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.